Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Dr. Levon Yepiskopoisian's interview on the Armenian genetic element. Armenian foreign minister had a conversation with United Nations chief. Three Iranian border guards were killed on the northwestern border of Iran. 20 aircraft carrying Russian peacekeepers arrived in Armenia over the past 24 hours. Another batch of humanitarian aid heading from Canada to Armenia for Artsakh, the historical fortress of Arches emerged as a result of the decrease of the waters of Lake Van. Levon Yepiskopoisian, Doctor of Biological Sciences, Professor, employee of the Institute of Molecular Biology of the National Academy of Sciences, in an interview with Western Armenia TV spoke about genetic mapping and its opportunities, the Armenian genetic element, as well as presented in detail a number of issues related to genetic identity. You can watch the interview on our official YouTube channel. Armenian Foreign Minister Zorhab Natsakanyan held a phone conversation with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on November 13 to discuss number of issues connected with Artsakh, the Forereign Minister. You can report. find the whole version of the song in the Guterres official page of Western Armenia TV. This was the all for today. Of the Goodbye. The Armenian Foreign Minister underscored the necessity of holding discussions over all issues related to the Artsakh peace process within the framework of the OSC Minsk Group co-chair. The UN chief reiterated support to the OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship format. Zohra Panatsakanyan comprehensively presented the humanitarian crisis in Artsakh that is created as a result of Turkish-Azerbaijani aggression and the steps taken by the governments of Artsakh and Armenia in the direction of addressing it, the foreign minister said in a news release. The Armenian foreign minister and Guterres also spoke about the involvement of the UN and other relevant bodies in responding to the humanitarian crisis in Artsakh. Both Sites underscored the need for preserving the Armenian historic cultural heritage in Artsakh that is endangered as a result of Azerbaijani occupation. Unidentified gunmen have killed three Iranian border guards near the country's northwestern border, the Associated Press reported, citing Iranian state media. According to the official Iranian news agency, the three border guards were killed in a clash when terrorists tried to enter Iran's West Azerbaijan province, 650 kilometers from the capital Tehran. Two border guards were injured in the incident. Western Azerbaijan borders Iraq and Western Armenia, whose territories are occupied by Turkey. But the article does not mention that criminals from the country tried to cross the border into Iran. 20 Russian IL-76 aircraft carrying peacekeeping troops and material arrived in Armenia over the past 24 hours for deployment to Artsakh. On November 13, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu had said at a briefing with President Vladimir Putin that up to 25 flights are carried out in one day. More than 1,100 peacekeepers had already been transported as of November 13. The peacekeeping mission in Artsakh will consist of total 1,960 troops, 90 armored vehicles, 380 armored other vehicles and special material. The next batch of humanitarian aid from Canada will be sent to Armenia on November 21 for Artsakh families. Edgar Manukian, a member of the United Armenian Council of Ontario, told Armen Press that the support work of the Canadian Armenian community continues. We have sent many batches of humanitarian aid earlier too. 15 tons of aid was sent from Toronto alone, he said. Most of the emergency relief supplies include medications, sleeping bags, clothing and other essential items. There is no despair. We continue our work. Manukyan added. Due to the decline of water level in Lake Van, Western Armenia, the Archesh fortress and its ruins have come to the surface in the coastal area of Archesh province. Due to the global climate change, the water level of the lake will decline in the near future. Archesh fortress built during the Urachian Kingdom was abandoned on Lake Van in 1841, when the waters of Lake Van began to rise. Those who lived here at the time settled in the districts of Alkanat, Gyolakji and Tekevler, in the present-day province of Archesh. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Van Ensemble. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.